All right, two great guest conversations down. Got some preseason rankings in, and uh, now for two, I just think, incredible storylines. We'll start the first of which. How about the youngest offensive coordinator in college football? That is just a ridiculous statement. It's a ridiculous sentence, and uh, it's the man right here, Kenny Hirschner. He played quarterback at UTPB. uh, For those of you not familiar with D2 Ball, it's the University of Texas at Permian Basin if I am not mistaken. He's the man holding the trophy right there. Coach uh, Chris McCullough we had on the program not too long ago. Talked with them. He led them to the Lone Star Conference Championship in 2023 after uh, transferring. He left uh, East Central University as a grad transfer. And uh, in 2023, these were these were the stats for uh, who, who now going by Coach Kenny over there for, uh, I believe, the Falcons. 2,900 yards and 30 touchdowns passing. How about 700 more and eight touchdowns on the ground rushing? He was the Conference Offensive Player of the Year, First Team All LSC. He was the All Texas Non FBS Offensive Player of the Year Award, All Region Team, and also nominated for the Harlan Hill. This dude did it all for the Falcons last year. And uh, I think that picture just kind of encapsulates a good part of that because uh, they got some hardware to show for it. Ended up falling in the playoffs. But, uh, you know, a great story and, and what seems like a great dude gonna have to get him on the program and, and talk a little bit to him about uh, the situation over there like I said though he's the co-offensive coordinator for those of you familiar he'll be the passing coordinator he'll also coach the quarterbacks down there for UTPB he's 23 years old I am 22 I turned 23 in like three weeks and uh slight birthday plug but <laughs> the fact I just <laughs> I say that because like the fact of like I who also just got like, my first like real job and like being at that same stage of life and being a co-offensive coordinator for a not just a random college football team, but a damn good Division II college football team, that is impressive. Want to give him his flowers because that is seriously an impressive feat. And everything that I have heard, seen, read about this guy and this job and just kind of this process right now, I think it all boils down to the fact that like he's ready. Uh, from the people over there, they've endorsed him. Obviously, the guys he played with, the guys on the current coaching staff right now, Coach McCullough, and, and everyone over there, they all seem to express that same sentiment of just, this dude is ready. He's ready for the responsibility, ready for the task, and everything that comes with this. He also, I believe, just got engaged. Like, things are just happening right now in this guy's life. I could not be more happy for him uh, over here from D1R. Happy for you, Kenny. Uh, hopefully, we can get you on the show here soon. But he's also one of three former players joining the staff for UTPB, which I think is also worth noting. That is awesome. So, Matt Zubiet, Kenny, of course, and then Hayden Kelly have all turned in their shoulder pads for whistles. That is pretty cool, the fact that uh, they can all do that. Now, not all of them are going to be at the uh, coordinator level. Uh, you know, I believe the other two are on, like, a kind of a grad assistant type basis, as I, as I at least as far as what I've read. Um, they'll kick off their their home season against Western New Mexico August 31st. But uh, it kind of looks like, yeah, the other two, I, I, I couldn't find at least anything. But um, it looks like there's kind of be like a grad assistant, which, again, there's nothing wrong with that. Like, that is how everything is you like supposed to go. You're not supposed to graduate and then be the quarterback's coach and potentially the passing game coordinator. That doesn't make any sense. That is so crazy. That's so crazy. Um, it's They talked about it here. They said to go straight from playing to coaching. It's honestly an honor and an opportunity that not everyone has. A big role to be in charge of a position group. So Zubiet is in charge of a position group. So there you go. Um, and Hayden Kelly is a guy that I think we've talked about quite a bit. was kind of a snub on a lot of uh, postseason accolades lists and other other things. But uh, it's just an exciting time to be a fan of this program. Permian Basin is, is certainly on you know, the right trajectory right now. And a lot of it is due to the head coach over there, Chris McCullough, and what he's done, but also due to these guys, the guys he's brought in, um, the guys that have made this program something worth talking about, right? This is news, but it's not news because it's a crazy hire and it's not news because it's ridiculous. It's news because this dude earned the job and he just happens to be 23 years old. Like, that's the reason it's news. It's all for the right reasons. So excited for UTPB, excited for the Falcons. That's That's a great story over there.